The Spokane Fire Department's training division is responsible for ensuring the operational readiness of over 300 personnel. The division's goal is to provide realistic and relevant training and education to every member so they are ready to respond to the community's needs. Deputy Chief Dave Leavenworth has more. Training is so important for firefighters for a lot of reasons, but mainly because a lot of what we do is low frequency events. Uh, and if we don't have repetitive training, lots of times it is easy for the body and the mind to forget how to do things. We're heading back to where we came in. We're probably 70 feet in, 80 feet in. So through training, we try to, do, we try to uh, be repetitive. Uh, with a lot of the low-frequency skills that firefighters don't use every day. Uh, get them hands-on and get them familiar with their equipment, keep them familiar with their equipment and all the uses of that equipment and uh, how to stay just tuned up uh, for the actual event. The state of Washington has uh, required training uh, in the vertical safety standards for firefighters uh, that we have to accomplish uh, on a timely basis, usually in an annual, uh, annual basis. And then uh, a lot of our specialty teams are governed by NFPA standards that require a certain amount of training to maintain certification in their specialty. So we have to get that worked in every year also. And then uh, all, of our, all of our personnel are EMTs, uh, either basics or paramedic. And there is a lot of time that is required to keep those certifications current every year. We've done a lot in the, in the last, I would say, decade to change the way that we deliver training to make it more effective. Uh, and, and when I say that, I mean we have harnessed technology quite a bit. Uh, we have a cable channel uh, through the uh, Comcast that we use to push out video training to all of the stations. Uh, we've also purchased a program called Target Solutions that allows us to create lessons, uh, embed videos in those lessons, and conduct uh, didactic training uh, in the stations on a computer so that all of our units uh, are in their service areas and available to respond to calls while they're still doing uh, the classroom portion of a lot of our training. We are extremely fortunate to have the facilities that we have to, be, uh, to train in. Uh, in our department. Uh, we have a 17,000 square foot training building that we're in right now. Uh, we have a 3,000 square foot three-story burn building that allows us to do live fire training uh, and actually uh, present the crews with fire problems and extinguishment problems as well as search and rescue. And then we have a 17,000 square foot uh, field house that really is a, a five-story building within a building that allows us to train out of the elements uh, when it's hot or extremely cold uh, and accomplish a lot of uh, our search and rescue hands-on training uh, in that facility as well as a lot of uh, other hands-on skills with ladders, with uh, roof ventilation uh, and, and those types of things. <laughs> 